successful team and organization is comprised of individuals from diverse backgrounds, ways of life, ways of, of thinking. In order for the team to be successful and come together to meet a common goal, there has to be an appreciation for diversity. There has to be a welcoming environment. There has to be um, a culture where people can feel um, seen and heard. I think for me, um, the, the true sign of an environment that fosters a sense of belonging and inclusive excellence is when differences are embraced and also there's healthy conflict and dialogue all focused on trying to learn and get better. The process is uncomfortable. The, uh, the dialogue might get a little emotional. But at the end of the day, you come out better because you've grown as a, in, as a human, you have grown as a team, you become closer, and you're taking the necessary steps in order to really become a cohesive unit. And that is when we can see that we're taking strides to truly embed this uh, culture of belonging and inclusive excellence. Here at MIT, within our athletics department, we have one of our core values as community. And in that value of community, it is inclusive of students, faculty, staff, from all different walks of life. And what I want as a leader, what we want here in the department is for anyone that comes into our spaces to feel like they belong and that they matter, because they do. And for us here in Daper, we're very intentional about ensuring that we have an environment that has diversity that is open to different perspectives, different walks of life, different experiences. All of that comes together to strengthen the community that we're looking to build here within the department. And it's also reflective of the Institute's commitment to facilitating an environment of diversity, equity, and inclusion from the aspects of the classroom, the lab spaces, as well as recreation and athletic spaces. And our efforts to foster that sense of community is really what truly binds us and what makes uh, those that come into our facility really feel welcomed and they can be their, their most authentic selves. I think it is extremely important for all of us, student athletes, coaches, staff, administrators, to continue to be intentional about fostering um, more opportunities to engage in dialogue relative to belonging and inclusion. And it takes more than just having a conversation. My call to action for anyone uh, watching this is to be intentional about pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. All of us have a tendency to engage with people that are like us, that share our same ideas, that share our same backgrounds. But in order for us to really have an impact on facilitating a culture of belonging and inclusive excellence is to really take an opportunity to, to reach out to people that aren't like us, to move out of that comfort zone, to move out of that homogeneous bubble in order to be able to better understand someone that may have a different upbringing or background than us. And if we're able to do that, then that allows 
our profession, our teams, our environments to be more inclusive in order to not only change what we're doing from an athletic perspective relative to embracing diversity and, and inclusion, but also to have an impact on the society in which we live.